combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hello everybody, it is Farmhand Mike bringing you a canola harvest video from the Alva, Oklahoma area. I shot this video in June of 2020. My daughter Alexandria and I was down in the Alva, Oklahoma area shooting some wheat harvest videos and we was out with Walter Harvesting out of Alberta, Canada who had several other combines down here in the area cutting wheat and they had this one crew of three combines harvesting canola for a local farmer. In this video here, you're going to see three of Walter Harvesting's Case International 8250 combines with Macdon FD140 draper heads direct cutting the canola. Also in this field is one of their Fent 1038 tractors pulling a Brent 1196 grain cart. I've already posted a couple wheat harvest videos of Walter's harvesting down in this area. I'll attach one of those at the end of this video. There's not a lot of canola down in this area, but there is a little bit here. And you'll see canola harvested two different ways. Uh, most of it, though, they go in and they actually swath it and lay it in windrows and let it sit there and dry, then come back in with the combines and a pickup header and harvest it 10 days to two weeks later. Now, I'm told the canola here did not do real good. A couple days before we got here, they had 70 mile an hour winds, and I'm told they had a lot of shatter loss, and a lot of it was down on the ground, and they just weren't able to get a good yield now. Canola varieties have changed that allows farmers to come in and direct cut it. Now, had they swathed it here, that may not have happened, but with the 70 mile an hour winds, the windrows might have been blown all over the place, and they wouldn't have been able to pick them up anyways. And with the high winds causing the low yield here, it made a very boring day for the grain cart operator. So I was not able to get any grain cart footage here with the combines in the canola fields. And I know somebody's going to ask in the comment section, what's up with all the skips in the field there where you see no crop? I really don't know. I can only guess that their drill or air seeder was plugged up while they were seeding this. And quick, look at the top of the screen. I think that's a bald eagle coming in and I didn't even notice that till I was here editing. And as I said, canola is not a big crop down in this part of the world. Most of the canola that I see is up in the western Canadian plains, Montana, North Dakota, and so forth. And canola is an oil seed crop.
And just down the road from where they was harvesting sat this nice versatile 895 tractor. Of course I had to stop and take a picture. They moved to another field as evening approached, and you'll see those two Lexion combines over there in the background. That was a local farm cutting their own wheat. I did do a video with those guys, and I'll put the link to it here at the end of this video. And the big windstorm that come through prior to me getting here did not blow any crop down on the ground, luckily, and it did not seem to hurt the wheat either. These guys just run a pretty nice operation here, have a nice fleet of equipment. You can check them out at waltercustomharvesting.ca, and you can also find other videos on YouTube if you just uh, search for Walter's Harvesting. And this was a beautiful evening to be out here in the field. The sunset was just fantastic. I know pictures don't do justice, but I think I got some pretty nice drone shots that you'll see coming up here in the next few minutes. Unfortunately, like I said, I didn't get any footage of this Fent uh, 1038 tractor and this grain cart just because they didn't have the yield there. He was uh, kind of bored here in this field. But anyways, got you a couple pictures here to get you by, but if you go back and find my wheat harvest video of these guys, you'll see their other 1038 pulling an Elmer's grain cart running alongside four combines in the wheat field. Somebody else had put another video on YouTube of these guys packing up their fleet and moving on to the next harvest stop. That's definitely worth finding and checking out. Especially if you've never been around this custom harvesting, it's just really neat seeing how these guys pack all this stuff up and uh, move on to the next stop.
That's going to wrap up this video. Feel free to hit that like button and comment below. You can also check me out on Instagram, at Farmhand Mike. If you see a picture of it on my Instagram, there's a good chance there is a video of it, or there's a video coming of that machine. Anyways, just want to thank everybody for supporting my social media, and stay tuned. I still have a ton of content coming here.